Okay people, this video is another video on dating sites. Yes, I've done videos before on dating sites here yeah, and I'll do this one now because this is a... There's been developments in my research on dating sites, right? So, before I proceed with this video, I want people to know that this is not me telling you that if you are on these sites that you're stupid or you're doing the wrong thing or it's not going to happen for you. I'm not, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying what's happening unconsciously in the minds of people today, yeah? And how people act and how some people use social media and dating sites in particular. And the negative parts of it, yeah, there's some pros, yeah, but there's not many. Yeah, there's more cons than pros, yeah? So that's just me highlighting those, yeah? And also the reason why I've gone back on these sites, yeah? And it's not because I think they're amazing, because I know they're not, yeah? <laughs> I've gone back on them, so it can prove my point once again, which it has. Don't get me wrong, I've met some good people off sites. I have. And I've also met bad ones, right? And my overall experience is most people, not all, not all, but most people, do not know how to communicate beyond a mobile phone. Now that's what this video is about. Now I've gone back on them. Right, because I've moved town here, yeah? and just to see what we've been like here, and it's no different really. Slightly different, but not too much, right? And the problem with dating sites is that there's a lot more men on there than these women, and women that were previously humble are now arrogant because they're getting all these inboxes from men, yeah? And you don't have to be a good looking woman to have that. Yeah, you can be below average, you can, you know what I mean, you, you, you'll get inboxes from hungry ass men that want to get the dick wet. It's as simple as that, yeah? And nobody's on there to get married, nobody, yeah? So don't even, <laughs> if you're going on there because you want to meet a wife or a husband, you're not going to do it, it's not going to happen. It might, I'm not saying never, right? It rarely, it might, it might happen rarely, but not, it don't happen commonly, yeah? Now this image here is just <laughs> an example of what women go through in the inboxes here. <laughs> this is pretty accurate though, isn't it? But anyway, a lot of females that are on this dating site here, these young females, like late teens, early twenties, right? Now, it's, I'm going to have to be honest, right? A lot of them are slaggers here. A lot of them are. They are. They go on there, they grow, they've grown up in this age of social media, so they don't know how to communicate in real life here. So they, they, they go online, talk to guys, and don't forget, there's loads and loads of guys in the queue waiting, yeah? So they've got to pick one. They pick one, they fuck him, and then they don't talk, then their friend probably shags him later on because she's on dating site as well. Then her friend will add that guy who's fucked her friend as well, you know what I mean? <laughs> that's what that's what reality is, right? These are some comments on YouTube here. Yeah. <laughs> and it's fucking true as well, you know? 80% of women on dating sites are chasing 20% men. 80% of men are chasing 20% of women, which is fucking true. Absolutely true. That's one of the best comments I've ever seen. <laughs> Online dating is a waste of time for anyone with any kind of character. Watch out for the crazy one, the boys. And girls as well. Yeah, it's not just um, crazy men, it's crazy women as well. Yeah, both ways. I mean, it's true, you know what I mean? Like I said, I hung back on it to see what it was like in this area I'm living in, and it's still, it's pretty much the same. I mean, it's getting to, an, it's getting to a point where people are using dating sites not only as a safe option, because they don't have to do anything, which you don't. You don't have to show your, we obviously show your face on pictures, but you don't have to show up, you don't have to turn up, you don't have to, you don't have to do anything. You can just sit on the couch, Click your keyboard and press whatever you want to press. Put whatever emoji you want to put, even though you're not feeling it. You know, promise things you're not going to carry out with. That's what this is, yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, I'm old enough to remember life before social media, yeah. When they, when you, talking to a female was ordinary. Now it's not. Now it's like you could approach a female, yeah, right, and she's got. Hundreds of men on the, on the, in the inbox and in, on all these random dating sites. This is what it is now. <laughs> you cannot. I'm talking from experience now, right? 
I don't have any problems at all approaching anybody and talking to them. I don't. Anybody can do it. It's not fucking hard. But obviously it's for some people. But yet, I've met females, right? Who, you could get into a relationship with a female, right? And these days, and you could be even, the relationship could have started, like you could be getting somewhere, but yet she's still got these fucking leftovers. When I say leftovers, dudes on the phone who she's added from dating sites wanting to go balls deep. That's what, I mean, with men, I think it's a bit different because if a man has got multiple women on his phone, he's pretty much going to do something with them. Yeah? He's literally probably living that promiscuous life. Yeah. Whereas women, obviously they do that as well, but when they get with a man that they choose to st- not settle down with, but get with, they still, they still can't resist the temptation of attention from cock. You know what I mean? And what it's doing, it's just making, it will make a good woman bad. It will, because a woman will go on these sites, yeah, and then get all these inboxes. I know because I've been told this from, this is going back seven years probably, but uh, seven years. Met women off there, off sites, and the way they talk, it's, it's typical, you know, they're on these sites, and the access to all these hungry guys is turning them from being humble to being arrogant, in a way. Almost like they don't give a fuck anymore, like, oh, if men can do it, I'll do it as well. But women act like men now. That's a bit more masculine now than ever before. That's obvious, you know. And guys act more feminine. It's true. Yeah. It's now becoming a vanity thing for women to go on dating sites and all these hungry men who've only got one thing on their mind, inboxing them, talking to them. You know, some guys, it's like, it's a hobby for them. They, they literally spend pretty much half the day, I won't say it's close past that, but most of the day on on the phone, on the dating apps, hunting for women. I mean, I know now they're making like, restrict, unless you pay, you know, unless you pay, unless you're stupid enough to pay to get unlimited swipes, you know. Um, there's guys on that which I think a lot of these hungry guys are doing, you know, these hungry dudes who just want to get their dick wet, they're paying extra money to get more swipes, so obviously boost the chances of getting a date. So then go balls deep, bust a nut, go home, go move on to the next one. This is what it's all about, yeah. And women, you're allowing it to happen. You're allowing it, yeah. Catching diseases and everything else. It happens. <laughs> it might sound harsh, but that's what happens, yeah. Go out there, open your legs to these men. It don't work out because you can't really communicate with each other. Move to the next one. And the cycle keeps going round and round and round. Yeah. It's true. People need to quit these dating sites. Leave it for the fucking Jeremy Kyle people. It works for them. Because there's literally, literally, fucking literally, no reason whatsoever for any woman that's even below average and upwards with a nice body to be on a dating site. Absolutely no reason whatsoever. The only reason they're on there is because they cannot communicate in real life. Yeah. Or they're too lazy to do it in real life. Yeah. Now I've got the bottle to do it in real life. Yeah. As soon as a man approaches them, they get scared and they get nervous, don't know what to say. Yeah. And then you get the stupid men that you don't even know what to say anyway. The same fucking stupid words, what women hear all the time, beautiful and whatever, yeah? This is what social media is doing. I remember back in the day on Facebook, that was a much better dating site than any of these fucking ones now. <laughs> Facebook back when it, back in the day, like 10 years ago, you could literally use that as a dating site. It's not like that anymore, because it's obviously that fad's gone now. The Tinder fad's gone now. I mean, I've got, I've, I, I went back on Tinder, Right, to have a look to see what it was like. And there's literally no racial diversity at all. Absolute nonsense. <laughs> Bumble's a little bit better, but it's still shit anyway. And all the others are, well, looked on there. Just delete, uh, go on there, delete them all. I just delete them all. Because there's, there's no substitute for face-to-face camaraderie. There's no substitute for that. 
no, no, no substitute for face-to-face -face interaction. You can see somebody right in the face, you can smell them, you can touch them, you can have a laugh. Online it's not the same, not at all.